감사합니다. 감사합니다. 만나 사방갔습니다. Is it cool inside? It's super cool. This is. How am I sat in this? This is crazy. We're in the car on the way to Padju City, which is about 40 minutes west. West of Seoul. And we're gonna head towards the DMZ to an observatory to try and see North Korea. Bless you. What's the name of the observatory? Odusan Tongil Jongmande. What? Odusan. Odusan. Tongil Jongmande. Tongil Jongmande. Yeah. Odu is the name of the mountain. Odusan. San means mountain. What's the rest of it? Tongil Jongmande. Tongil Moel. Reunification. So we're off to a reunification observatory and hopefully from there there'll be some binoculars and we can see the DMZ. We're also going to go get some lunch. We're going to eat some Pyongyang Mulnaemyeon. Yeah. Which is Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. Yeah. Mul means water. Neng means cold. Myeon means noodles. So some cold North Korean noodles. And then we're going to explore Paju City a little bit. Yeah. You're right. We're going to Imjinga after that. Oh, Imjinga? Yeah, after Tongil uh Jamnangde, -huh. the second destination is called Imjinga. Is that under the city? Uh, it's part of the city. It's also near the uh, borderline. Oh, so very close. That's a, that's literally the closest North Korea that we can ever go without permit. Amazing. Civilian. Okay, and the reason we're doing this trip is because the DMZ official tours are closed at the moment and I've been here for two years how long have you guys been here five years <laughs> nine months and none of us have ever been to the DMZ have you been before Mickey it's my first time really yes so it's a first time for all of us so because we can't do the official tour the weather's good we wanted to do something different we're off to Paju City to get as close to the DMZ as possible we have to come back in the near future because we, we are able to do the tour in the restricted areas, mm -hmm. usually, but right now, because of COVID, they have shut down the tour program. Yeah. So today, we're just going to the civilian area. Okay. That makes sense to you. And I think it's going to be very quiet as well because of COVID. And also, it's a weekday. It's a weekday, yeah. It's even nicer. It's, what day is it? It's Thursday. 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 I don't think yeah. we're going to see a lot of people. Excellent. Guys, excited for today? Let's yeah. go. <laughs> They're acting like kindergarten kids. Yay. DMZ, 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 Let me DMZ. DMZ. It's my first time seeing North Korea in my whole life. We're going to this observatory up here, and then North Korea is just over there. Over there. Can you believe that? As soon as you step out of the car, it is Warm! What a beautiful sunny day. I've got my map out and I'm going to give you a better perspective of where we are and where we come from. We came from down here in Seoul across the Han River and the mountain that we just saw that we drove up to is here. It's called Ojusan. From there we can see North Korea which is over this side and this here is the 38th parallel line and then afterwards we're going to head further up the coastal road to Jayu, where we'll get more views. And Mickey told me that this station here, Dorasan, is a station that was built in the hopes that when the countries were unified, this station could be used to connect the two countries together. Why are we running? Just run. But why? Why are we running? Why are we running? We have a reservation. Oh, do we? Yeah, we. Mickey made a reservation for us. Otherwise, yeah. we couldn't go. Oh, so we, without a reservation, we cannot go. Oh, okay, so if you want to come here, you need a reservation. Just At least someone's thinking for us. At least now, because of COVID. What time's our reservation for? Uh, two thirty. Oh, so six minutes. That's why we're running. It was two, but then they allow us to get in until two thirty. We're gonna drive to the top of the mountain. Yes, to the to the very observatory deck. Oh ho! Look at us, VIPs, baby. Yeah. Oh, what a view! 
Is that North Korea over there? Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. There is North Korea. Wow. You're still able to see that better? I would thought it'd be really awkward if they fly back. When we're here? Yeah. Okay. 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 It's also a bit of a museum and an art gallery. I think this is a photo of President Moon and Kim Jong-un when they held hands and crossed over the border. What a momentous occasion. The Korean War ended in June 1953. It says Sone Sonjako Yolo Gaja. What does that mean? Let's hold hands together and open it. Do you think the countries will be unified within the next 50 years? I think it will. You I think, think yeah? it's really hard to expect when, but I think it's gonna do, be done very suddenly. Yeah, I think so too. My hope is the two countries are unified, but I think it'll be something like England and Scotland where they have their independent governments. So the countries you can travel freely between the two and it's one joint economy but with independent governments that's what i think is going to happen yeah. let me know your thoughts in the comment section below That's a big family. And most of them have sadly already died now. Oh, they have freaking children. Yeah, the part of the family. Dad, do something. So after Korean War, a lot of people from the north who came down to South Korea lost their hometown, right? Mm -hmm. And these are the pictures, the drawings, just missing their hometown because they can't go anymore just depending on their old memories of the cool. these are little kids that have drawn this kids grandpas grandmas everyone this here says uri jit which means our house This wall is full of them. It stretches all the way around here. It goes all the way around to the right. And then there's the families that have been separated. And we're gonna go down this way to the outdoor observation deck. So we've come outside for a better perspective. And I read on the board, this river over on the left is the Han River. The river that goes towards the north is Jo River. And this river on the right hand side is the Imjin River. And you might recognize the word Imjin from other videos I've done because I talk a lot about the Imjin War from 1592 to 1598 when the Japanese invaded Korea and Admiral Yi Sun Shin defeated them in the Imjin War. And that's this river here, the one that's between North Korea and South Korea. Is that telescope a bit too small for you, mate? <laughs> It's the perfect height for Mickey. Height for me. I see the birds flying. I don't see any people, so maybe it's too hot for them to come out. Or they're really hungry. It looks like those houses don't even have windows on them. They don't have finished roofs either. I don't know how many people actually live there. I have a feeling that they would have relocated people further inward, inland. Yeah, those houses look abandoned, don't they? 
the part closest to us kind of looks like farmland because it looks like the grass has been mown, ready to grow something. Uh, Not a single person at all. No, I can't see anyone. We've looked at the other side of North Korea and it seems like there's nothing there, not much life. But I imagine if somebody came over and stood on the shoreline and looked across and they saw this major highway with lots of cars, they think that South Korea was a very developed country because obviously they don't have access to the internet, they don't know what this country's like. So to see that must be a shock. Triangle. Wow, look at the difference. From this observation deck you can see there's nothing there. It's just mountain ranges, a bit of farmland, and it's right next to the river, and it just kind of goes off into the distance. But when you turn around here and look to South Korea, you've got the mountain ranges, but you've also got so many tall apartment buildings. Yeah. What a contrast. You're right. There's such a contrast. So that looks straight to Seoul. And then there's North Korea. Wow. We're driving down the highway now towards Imchimgak, and this is the one that we could see from up at the observation deck. And just over there is North Korea. I'm going to put my hand outside the sunroof so you get a better view. Before we get to the Imchimgak, I want to show you this quickly. Do you remember earlier in the video, I said of the station Dorosanyok, which is the station which will be used if the two countries are ever unified. This is the station before that, the one before it, it's called Imjingang. And from here, we're gonna head straight up this road and go and eat some North Korean food and check out Imjingak. It's around. <gasps> there's a there's gondola. A hmm, there's a cool jet there. There's the cool. Oh, there's thing. a jet. The coolest thing is the end of the railway line. Alright, we're going to get out and show you around because this has turned from looking like nothing to looking like everything. Guys, there's a cable car there. We're definitely going to go with that cable car. Is it a car? Yes, it's a car. Is it a car? Yes, So we're in this humongous car park that's empty. Over here behind us is a peace park. Over here is a theme park to celebrate, to celebrate the DMZ. To celebrate it. And then over oh, here right. is a gondola yes, which lit. goes over the Woo. river. It, it looks like, like it's in operation <laughs> and I think it goes over the fence because I can see one of the outposts there. To celebrate the DMZ is how you just say. DMZ. <laughs> Super Viking! Super Viking! Why are they playing German music at the theme park? What are they saying in the music? She left me waiting, I can only see her from the distance. It's, 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 uh, it's German folklore music. So German folklore music. Before we go on the cable car, we're going to eat in this Shikdang. Shikdang is a Korean word for restaurant. And they've got lots of food on the wall. Oh, that's great. Kasamnida. Wow. Oh, we got a little soup with it as well. Mm. It's got some ice in there. Mm. And you got the mulnen myon. Mm. Mm. This is the soup is good. What kind of soup is it? No ice idea, soup. but it's cold. Can it? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's a bit vinegary yeah. and sweet. It's really good. I've also noticed how busy this place must normally be. Because we're the only people in here and it's massive. Mm. I thought there'd be so many tourists coming in. In here we've got some radish and cucumber, some noodles, half a boiled egg with some sesame seeds on top, and some spicy sauce, which is gochujang based, and it's really, really good. Mm. 
I'm going to show you on the map where the gondola goes over. So it goes over the Imjin River here. Oh, and it goes towards Dorasan, the station, which is there. Ah. And then the 38th parallel line is just here in the north. So now we're quite far away. Maybe the gondola goes to here, I'm not sure, but we're going to go on the gondola and it goes over the river. Maybe it stops here and then comes back. Let's find out. Whoa! I'm scared of heights. So this area below us is apparently full of landmines. For real? Yeah. What? Well, who harvests the crops? These are crops. There are no landmines here. These are crops. These are crops. The mountain ranges of South Korea are so beautiful. You can see over there on the other side, it's very heavily guarded. High fences with barbed wire. And there's, there's another observatory point. Oh, yeah. We can also go, which is this way. I don't know if you want to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's this area here? Uh, this is what he says yeah. here. That's like the actual... It's probably a coffee shop. Wait, is, th is that where the North and South Korea like guards are Let's check it out. I think they have some history uh, too. Let's go for a gander. We always love a gander, don't we? Julian, would you like to go for a gander? I don't know what this is. Gander means like go for a walk, go for a stroll. Oh, hell no. This is great. I'm really enjoying this because there's no tourists in. It's nice and quiet. Behind this fence is a jire, the mine. <sighs> bit, bit good that we have to walk up the hill because we've just eaten, but I'm just a grumpy old man. <laughs> Kimchi! 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 <laughs> Fighting! They're fitter than us. Too. Yeah, they are. Are you talking about exercise or looks? Oh. <laughs> Just down there you can see where the bridge used to go and it looks like it's blown up because half of it is in the water just there. The other part of there is like in half. And then this part, the steel is coming out and it's all bent and rusted. It looks like it's completely been destroyed. But then the one next to it was built in the hopes of the countries reunifying and then they can use this for transportation. Freedom Bridge. That's called Freedom Bridge? Called Freedom Bridge, the new bridge. How cool, man. I can't get over how cool and humongous Bukansan Mountain is. Mm, it looked very cool in the distance there. Unfortunately, we can't go to the other museum because it's blocked off. So we're going to head on the gondola back to the other side. Can we go to Dunkin' Donuts, please? No. <laughs> Here's the old train tracks, and on the wood, there's plaques showing you the route the train used to take and where it used to stop, and that's on each one. Up here, and it goes all the way to the end to the bridge. Before, from the observation point, we could see the Freedom Bridge, and this is it here. And when the war ended in 1953, and there was an agreement signed for the truce, they handed over prisoners, and this is where 12,773 people were given back to South Korea. Wow. I've just got the first glimpse of the train. It looks so rusty and old. So this train is a steam locomotive and it was derailed by bombs during the war and it's been here since 1953. And you can see, it looks like it's just been bombarded with shrapnel and bullet holes. This is such a great, unique experience to come here when there's nobody here because you've seen in the restaurant, you've seen the car parking lot, how big it is. This would normally be full of people. 
I feel truly honoured to be able to come here during this time. And look over there, there's some guards patrolling with guns. Get no love. The car is on, though. Kasamnida. Kasamnida. Manasa Is it cool inside? It's super cool. Wow! <laughs> Julian, you stand on stand up there. Tell us again tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Julian, stand up there, yeah. Tom, go yeah. in. I'm coming here with all this stuff. Very cool. Oh wow! You, you. Whoa! I'm in a DMZ military van. This is like a Hummer. Whoa! This is amazing! You can get four people in the back, two people here, the driver and the passenger. And then... This is... <laughs> How am I sat in this? This is crazy. What a lovely guy. Kasamnida, thank you. Jumale, chalboneo. Kasamnida. bye bye. Oh my god! Wow. This is amazing. Annyeonghaseyo. There's some soldiers here. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wow. And we're going to see the sunset as well over the mountains. Yeah. Well, Julian, is this beautiful? Yeah, this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh my god, can you hear the gunfire in the background? We were just told by the soldiers that's not the Korean army firing the guns, it's the US army doing practice firing. So that's what the sound is. You think Head over to Mickey's channel if you want to see this video that we're about to film here. That's the end of the unofficial tour of the DMZ. Now head over to Mickey's channel because we're going to go somewhere else to a hill to film a video for his channel, so go check it out. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, click the red button, turn on the bell, because when I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to get a visa and visit North Korea. If you've enjoyed this video, click the like button, and in the comment section, let me know if you think the two countries will ever be reunified. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to kill myself. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yosh. Yeah.